There's a moment towards the beginning of our Seder that is a bit strange. It's called Urchatz, and it's an act of hand washing. But it's not the typical ritual cleansing that we see in Jewish spaces. It is an act of washing our hands without the typical bracha, and it's in order to prepare us for dipping a vegetable in salt water. So why is this going on? There is a rabbinic precedent that we are obligated to wash our hands before we dip something in any kind of liquid and eat it. But as you may be aware, that practice has largely fallen out of use. So why is it reappearing in our Seder? One principle that we have about the Pesach Seder is that it exists largely in order to make the familiar unfamiliar in order to raise questions so that we're prompted to delve deeper into meaning and to find ways to make meaning for ourselves. This act of washing our hands towards the beginning of the Seder seems to be holding that space. It is an act of hand washing that is beyond the need for ritual purity and suddenly creates space for us to start to recognize how the work of our hands and how Cleansing goes beyond the need for ritual purity. By bringing those things into the Seder, I am prompted to ask you, what are the things that you need to rinse away in order to fully arrive at tonight's Seder? What are you cleansing from your hands? What are you cleansing from your spirit so that you can sit at the table and be open to the stories and the tales that we're about to explore together?